Hi Kickstarters, my name is Steve Aronsoff and I lead the Beat Jock team. I'm a music lover, but I have a very hard time finding music sources that I can discover new music through, that keep things fresh, that engage me, and I enjoy listening to. I'm always asking my friends what music are they listening to and what have they discovered because there's something really special about hearing a song for the first time. It's really hard though to be easily exposed to new music because there's no source that brings me the music that I want to hear across different musical genres which is a shame because a lot of great music being created. There's also no easy way for people to connect to other music fans who have similar tastes in music that can help discovery. It's ironic that while technology has made it easier than ever for artists to create their music and even to publish it, it is harder than ever for music consumers to find new music and to hear the new music that bands and even DJs are creating and releasing. This is also true for established artists since most classic bands release music now through their own labels rather than through a major label. And radio certainly doesn't help. The ownership consolidation of radio stations has resulted in radio stations owned by a few companies that tend to play a small number of the same artists and songs over and over again. This means that the barrier for all artists, new or established, to get access to radio and its exposure to music consumers is incredibly difficult. Sirius XM does play larger playlists, but instead of playing the same 20 songs over and over again, like terrestrial radio stations, their stations play the same 200 songs over and over again. But worse, Sirius has very little variety within musical genres, delivering to most two stations of the same musical type, which click quickly leads to listener boredom. So today we have this huge problem that remains unsolved. Music lovers want to find new songs and new artists that they will like, but there's a lot of friction to easy music discovery. Artists want to be connected to fans who will like their music, but the current music delivery solutions don't support organic ways for artists to be easily exposed to large numbers of new music consumers. The online music solutions haven't solved this problem either. While iTunes is a good place to buy music that you already know you want to buy, it is a terrible place to try to navigate around to discover new music that you will like or even to listen to music. I haven't found that online music services like Pandora or Spotify or solve this problem either and I believe that I know why. These current solutions are all based on the same old radio broadcast model, just like the new music service from Google and the rumored, rumored service from Apple. But people usually discover new songs and new artists through the recommendations of tastemakers and by the recommendations of people that they know who have similar tastes in music. People want to share their music and their musical discoveries. So they create mixtapes and mix CDs of their favorite songs. They create playlists for road trips and for parties and to share music with girlfriends and boyfriends. Rabid fans of bands like The Dead trade songs on boards and recommend other bands that they think people will like because they have similar tastes. So sharing and music discovery and the conversations around music do happen but they only occur on small scales with individual people having to expend a fair amount of effort to connect. In fact, the most common music sharing discovery method that I see now is by people who are listening to a song on their phone or their iPod that they think somebody will like, and so they share one of their music ear earbuds with a friend. So music recommendations and music discovery do occur in one-on-one -on -one situations, but the question is, how can this be done on a mass scale in a really easy way so we can all take advantage of the music discoveries of not only our direct friends, but their friends, and potentially thousands of other people who know about artists and songs that we will like. If these connections can be made on a mass scale, then all music consumers can discover new music they will love, and artists can get exposed to much larger bases of music fans. I spent a couple of years with Intuit, the makers of Quicken and QuickBooks, and I learned that if you take a hard, complex problem and create a drop-dead simple solution that hides complexity, people will adopt your solution. So in order to be successful, a solution needs to hide the complexity of connecting millions of music lovers, allowing them to share music, to discover music, to talk about music, and also to connect artists directly with fans. And the solution must be very organic to the process of listening to music and to engaging with the music. Beat Jock is a solution. Beat Jock has been designed by music lovers as a highly engaging platform to provide fans with music that they will enjoy and to other music fans to help them discover new music and to foster music discovery so artists can be exposed to new fans. Beat Jock was not designed simply to be another radio station. Rather, Beat Jock is a platform designed to solve the problem of music discovery and music enjoyment and is a solution to people to expose people to music that they will like across any musical genre by allowing people to hear what other music fans who have similar tastes are listening to and by curating music content through crowdsourcing for music fans by music fans who have similar tastes. Beat Jock has designed a very organic, natural way for people to share music along with song and artist recommendations that they make and to foster conversations about music in a fashion similar to how Instagram took the process of taking and sharing pictures and created a platform that allows it to happen organically on a mass scale. 
The Beat Jock solution is great for music fans and artists alike. Artists win because they will be connected to new fans and they will gain a new revenue source since Beat Jock will provide fair compensation for the streaming of their music and the music sales made directly through Beat Jock. Artists will also gain a new engine to communicate directly with their current fans by introducing new music directly to the fans and by sharing the music that they like using a common language, which is of course, music itself. Music consumers win because they'll be able to enjoy music that is curated not by program directors or algorithms, but by people who have similar musical tastes and who will expose them to new songs and new artists in an unlimited number of playlists across every conceivable musical genre. Beat Jock will allow you to listen to the song playlists of your friends and the people you connect with who have similar musical tastes. In this way, Beat Jock exposes people to new music that they like in a way that is completely organic to the listening process, and artists became able, become able to reach large quantities of new fans regardless of which genre in which they create music regardless of whether they are being played on the radio or not. When you hear a song that you like, you can add the song to your playlist with one button. When your friends hear a song that they like, you get alerted to this so you can hear the song as well. Beat Jock works as simply as your friend sharing their earbud with you when they want you to hear a great song that they like. Plus, people who contribute playlists and whose networks have active members will be recognized as tastemakers within the community, given higher visibility, which encourages usage and engagement. Beat Jock is built upon its own social media community that is optimized for music discovery and conversations, just like Instagram optimizes a social media network for photo sharing. Ease of use and seamlessly delivering music and a process of engaged discovery to listeners is key to the Beat Jock design. This design is simple and elegant and that allows users to easily select playlists and musical genres, plus the system will uniquely curate lists based on the social interactions of the network users, meaning that the music that the community has decided is most popular will be available in compiled lists. This social media driven platform is part of the unique nature of Beatjock's ability to solve the music discovery problem and to connecting artists with fans. We are raising funds on Kickstarter to fund the development of Beatjock. The $32,000 raise will allow us to build and launch the iOS and Android versions of Beatjock. All supporters of Beatjock will be given access to free subscriptions to the service, allowing them to add new songs to their playlists. Plus, if we're able to reach our $60,000 stretch goal, we will also be able to build and launch the web version of BeatJock. So please support BeatJock, because this is the solution that we music lovers have been waiting for, for our music discovery needs, to share our music through, and to connect with other music lovers. And by the way, please come back every day, as I'll be posting a new song, album, or artist recommendation that I think you will like. Thank you.